Good afternoon and welcome to another episode looking at the Chateau de la Loire, the castles of the Loire Valley and the surrounding area. As I'm doing at the moment, I'm in Andre Loire, where I am. I don't actually think this is in the UNESCO World Heritage Site, probably just outside. I'm in a small town called Beaumont La Rance, and just there is the Chateau de Beaumont La Rance. Beautiful old 13th century castle couldn't find much information on it on it though I mean what you will see is a definite mixture of styles when you're looking at the castle it is private property it seems to be possibly I think it might even be a hotel I'm not sure I kind of love to get in there and get a, a decent picture of the facade it looks really nice and certainly from what I remember of some of my architectural styles I think some of the windows definitely look gothic so it's beautiful old castle it really is you have to get it from the from the pavement over the other side i guess unless you either give them a call or you maybe it looks as if you're staying there let's show you the chateau i was going to show you the back of my camera to explain what it is i'm doing but that's the kind of angle that i've got on the back of my camera you could see it's an awkward shot i mean you can look kind of through the gate but you'd never get anything and even with a 17 millimeter tilt shift You'd never get anything for the gate entrance of that castle there. So I've got the 24 in, which is basically looking at this, and you can, I'm not cutting off the tree on the right hand side, but I am on the left. What can you do about it? I could put the 17 on, but it would be too wide. Honestly, it'd be too wide. But you can see the mixture of styles there. What looks, I guess, like as though it was a dungeon up there. And I think, as I said, it's a hotel. I think I recognize that symbol on the front gate that says it's a hotel. As I said, it's a little bit frustrating. I can't get in there. I'd like to be able to. I think you probably you probably could get in there if you asked, but you know, in the current climate, all that's worth knowing is it's there. So yeah, what I did find though is between vlog number one of today and the one that I'm filming now, is I found this really old, cool manor house stroke abbey uh, on my way here, which looks really, really something very very interesting to see and to look at and to try and capture so i'm going to capture that on something else but yeah there you go there's the chateau de beaumont la rance beautiful old castle there let's go to another one and then after that one that you've already seen if you've been following me Okay, a little addendum to the Shadow de Beaumont La Rance is that I called and although nobody answered the phone, I thought, well, there's some cars on the driveway. Let's just go and ask and see if I can get permission to take a photograph of the exterior, a real, a better shot than I had than the one just looking through the gate. So I knocked on the door and very kindly they said to me, yes, that's no problem. Actually, the sign that you saw, uh, that, I, I, that I saw, that I thought said, might have been a hotel it's actually basically saying that it's a historic monument that's private and it's a beautiful facade that's what it was saying so it just 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 happens sometimes there's so many signs around and you just think well it looks like it's that but it, it isn't now what i did say to them is is it okay to take a photograph or two and they said yeah sure that's no problem we don't mind actually if you do walk in and take a photograph it's not a problem but Honestly, I prefer to ask permission because this is private property. It is still somebody's home. It's definitely not a hotel, that's for sure, but it's beautiful. And the, uh, the lady I was talking to, she was very kind. She said to me, um, you know, you're free to just to take the photos and you'll see a range of styles in this castle from the, I think it's the 12th right up to the 19th or 18th century. So it's an amazing building, it really is. Definitely, if you're in the Loire Valley, in the Val de Loire, um, in this area, come and find the Chateau de Beaumont La Rance, because it's a beautiful castle to see. It really is, and it's not on people's radars at all. I've come to my second castle of the afternoon, a place called Chateau d'Alamotte, a 16th century castle on the northwestern 
part of, uh, of André Loire, beautiful castle by the side of the road, but I don't think you can go in. Now, actually, there is a sign at the, the entrance that says Entre Interdit. Basically, you just can't go in. So I'd love to get in though. It's an amazing castle, but I'm having just to take it from the side of the road. I have seen pictures of the castle with the moat, but I don't really just want to walk in, get in trouble and um, whatever else. It's just not worth it. I'd rather just do what I can from where I can. And this is why I'm showing you these particular types of castle, because although you can't necessarily go in, and visit as far as I know you can't go in at least you can get come to the side of the road and take a picture and it's easy you're safe here because you're off the road you can park off the road on a small country road opposite the castle beautiful castle though not in the Val de Loire as far as I remember um, but definitely worth a visit definitely worth coming here to find this particular castle because it is really really beautiful um, just a shame I'd like to get closer but what can you do? That's just, just how it is. There is the Chateau de la Motte, that 16th century beautiful castle that's here in the in André Le I'd love to get to this corner here. And I'd like to get there just because there's the moat. I'd like to be able to get it and probably get a little bit of a reflection. Although there's a little bit of wind this afternoon, it might not be reflecting at all, but it'd still be nice to get over there. And it looks as from, there's a red bridge, which you'll see in the corner of the image when I flick it up. It looks as though it's actually quite a wide moat and it'd be nice to get over there but uh, yeah what can you do there's not a lot you can do actually it just it is how it is if it's private property it's private property and that is it and all about it but i don't see any harm doing what it is that i'm doing i'm just at the side of the road taking a picture of a beautiful loire valley castle and i'm sure that they must be used to people just rocking up here and and taking pictures of that amazingly beautiful castle there but there's not much sort of angles you can get on it just because of as i said i mean this is the side you can come in but um yeah it just is what it is at the moment it's a one-shot wonder unless somebody comes out and says come on in and and photograph the castle chateau de la motte let's move on to the last one I've come to my last chateau of the day. It's uh, called the Chateau de Vaujour. Now, if you've been watching my vlogs, if you're regular watching my vlogs, I should say, then you would have seen this castle in the mist a couple of weeks ago when I was following the trail of Honoré de Balzac. And I started here that very early misty morning, very freezing cold and frosty morning in front of the Chateau de Vaujour. And behind me, you may be able to see where my car's parked. That's where I took the shot from. But this afternoon I called the owners and said, is it possible to just go into where the car park is, which is sectioned off at the moment, and then get the shot looking at an angle? Yeah, that's no problem. Always phone ahead, you just never know what luck you might have. They said yes, so I'm very grateful to the owners of Chateau de Vaujour for, for doing that. So it's 12th to 15th century castle, and it was actually given to uh, Louise de la Valliere, the, the mistress of Louis XIV. Now, there is another castle that it's associated with Louise de la Valliere. I've actually photographed it for um, some people I know up in Paris that were selling it on behalf of the owners. So if you've got a spare a couple of million, I can't remember how much it was on the market for, then um, you can check that out. It's a be that's actually a really, really nice castle as well. Definitely not in ruins, but, um, you know, beautiful, beautiful castle. But anyway, today we're concentrating on this one here. This is Chateau de Vosgeur. so there's actually well there's about I would say a third of it left but there's a huge uh, come I guess it's a turret that's just there that side of it defense part of the defensive wall and there's the mid well, I guess what would have been the middle section of the castle just there so yeah beautiful old, old ruin and um, very very easy to get to very easy to get to and uh, but there you go you know that's what i've been trying to do with these is that showing you places that that if you come to the area you can come and photograph them here you can easily get to it either more on part or you phone and they'll just let you come here you just have to speak french though there is the chateau de vaujour as you can see you've got a nice angle on it 
There's the angle actually I wanted a couple of weeks ago in the Balzac Trail, but I hadn't phoned ahead. You can see what's left of it. I mean, you've got this defensive wall there. If I put my hand in front of my 5D Mark IV. In the back on this edge here, there's another section that kind of looks like this. And then actually this way, there's another one. So it was quite a big castle in its day by the looks of it. Why is it in ruin? I've got no idea. But you can see why I've come up here and wanting to get an angle on it, just to get something a little bit better rather than looking straight on, which is what you get from the road. Now, at the, mo at the moment, as it's winter time, that way is sunrise. So basically that way you're looking southwest. At the moment, the sun is behind me, illuminating the castle. Now again, what I've tried to do is sort of show you these particular places at times of day that you can come to them and you should be able to get a shot most times of the day. Certainly all the ones that I've shown you today, uh, apart from actually the second one, you can get them at any time of the day. So it, because of the facades and where they're facing. The second one, no, it's an afternoon shot. But this one, it's morning and afternoon. And it's all year round as well. So, so bear that in mind. But you can see, not hard, to, uh, not hard to see why it is that I've come here. Beautiful old structure there. Obviously very big in its time. Now a shadow of its former self. So I hope you've enjoyed the fifth part of looking at the Chateau de la Loire. Tomorrow I'm going to be filming parts six and seven in the morning and then the afternoon. And as I've been saying, what I've been trying to do is make it so that when you're looking at them, the, the way they're coming out at the moment, for example, now this is the afternoon, the next vlog will be done in the morning and the one after that will be the afternoon. So that will give you an idea of when you can do these particular castles that I'm showing you here in the Loire Valley. So this one, doesn't matter really what time of day you do it, obviously it's better in low light, low, as we have now, low afternoon light, or the other day when I did it with the low mist. You can imagine, as I said, it looked really, really nice. I'm going to wait until sunset. I think it might do something, but I'm not sure. There's a lot of cloud that's actually coming over and starting to block the sun, and, and I'm thinking, will it or won't it? I don't know, it's in about an hour's time, so I'm just gonna sit it out and see. If I get something, I'll flick it up. If it goes straight to the, uh, this is what you can look at in the previous vlogs and whatever, and this is recommended, then you know I got nothing. But yeah, there you go, beautiful, beautiful castle. The, uh, the Chateau de Vosges there. I guess I'll probably come back here on repeated visits. I'd like to get it in really nice light, to be honest. I'd like to get a nice winter's morning with the frost, a low mist, I think it will look stupendous because of the way it looks. Corf Castle kind of eat your heart out. Okay, it's not on a huge hill, but so what? I think it's really a really, really nice castle there. What's next? I can't remember what's coming up in the next two that I'm going to be filming, but they're close to home in the morning and then in the afternoon, a little bit further away, but still in the in the in the Loire Valley there. But uh, in any case, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have and you're not a subscriber, subscribe down there and click up there that notification bell will will tell you when i'm uploading new videos to the channel and i'm trying to do it twice a week although after christmas it may actually go down to once a week because i've got some heavy commitments coming up in the new year thanks again see you again soon and stay safe out there take it easy folks